Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 192. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritwisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Protection of wildlife comes under which of the following in India? The correct answer is both fundamental right and fundamental duty. When the constitution of India was adopted in 1950, the framers had not foreseen the importance of environmental preservation. However, it is now enshrined in Article 51 AG of the Constitution that it shall be the fundamental duty of every citizen to protect and improve the natural environment, including forests and wildlife. Which among the following does not come under fundamental duties of a citizen in India? The correct answer is to strive towards abolition of untouchability. Untouchability is abolished and its practice in any form is forbidden. So there is no need for us to uh, uh, strive towards abolition. It is already abolished and anyone who practices untouchability is punishable by law. What are fundamental duties? These are uh, defined as the moral obligations of all citizens to help promote a spirit of patriotism and to uphold the unity of India. These duties set out in Part 4A of the Constitution concern individuals and the nation. Who among the following said that Directive principles of state policy are like a check on a bank payable at the convenience of the bank. The correct answer is Professor K.T. Shah. Professor K.T. Shah is known for his active role in the Constituent Assembly, responsible for framing the Indian Constitution. An alumnus of the London School of Economics, he was a socialist leader. Which among the following is correct regarding directive principles? The correct answer is positive injunctions. So, positive injunction refers to an injunction that requires a positive act on the part of the defendant. The directive principle of state policies are rights defined in Part 3 of the Constitution, applied irrespective of race, place of birth, religion, caste, creed or gender. They are enforceable by the court, subject to specific restrictions. The directive principles of state policy are guidelines for framing the law by the government. Supreme Court ruled that the fundamental rights and directive principles are in fact supplementary to each other and together constitute an integrated scheme. This is known as what? The correct answer is doctrine of harmonization. So this is a doctrine that follows a very simple rule that every statute has made, been made for a purpose and specific intent as per law and it should be read as a whole and interpreted accordingly. So you cannot interpret these two separately, you have to interpret them together. Thus the provisions are so interpreted that the con conflict between the two statutes or its provisions is avoided and each of them is given effect. Which of the following committee made a recommendation that election commission should be a three member body? The correct answer is Takunde committee. So Jai Prakash Narayan on behalf of the citizens for democracy had appointed a committee to study and report on scheme of Electro, uh, electoral reforms in 1974. The members of the committee were V. M. Tarkunde, M. R. Masai, etc. and it is known as either JP committee or Tarkunde committee. Apart from giving constitutional recognition to the municipalities, which amendment lays down that in every state two district planning committees shall be constituted? Correct answer is 74th amendment. The 74th amendment and municipalities in India Constitution 74th Amendment Act 1992 has introduced a new Part 9A in the Constitution which deals with municipalities in Article 243P to 243ZG. This amendment, also known as Nagarpalika Act, came into force on 1st June 1993. Which among the following sentence is not correct? Correct answer here is that Part 9 related to panchayats and Part 9A relates to municipalities is not correct. In fact, Part 9A is related to panchayats and it, uh, it is also related to municipalities. The fundamental duties were incorporated in the Indian constitution in which year? Correct answer is 1976. The fundamental duties of citizens were added to the constitution by the 42nd Amendment in 1976 upon the recommendation of Swaran Singh Committee that was constituted by the government earlier that year. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.